My name is Miranda Katarba. I'm here at the Alamance Community College in the Welding Technology Department. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to weld at home, but where we're going to use chocolate. This is a super fun and easy project that anybody can do of any age right in the comfort of your own home. Especially during times as these where not a lot of people are able to go out and use a lot of the resources that we have available. So we're bringing the welding to you. What I have here is I have my heat source, I have our base, our metal, or our chocolate, and then I have a mold that we're gonna set the chocolate bars in. So when you, get, when you first get started, you wanna get your hot water. You can either microwave it, you can put it in um, a coffee pot, a tea kettle, anything like that that's gonna help you get it to a hot temperature. You don't have it to have it be boiling. It's a little warm to the touch, but it's not scolding hot or anything. Once you funnel it in there, this will act as our heat source, something that we're gonna use to activate our weld. Next what I have is our, our mold or our fixture. This is something that we set, that we're gonna set the chocolate bars into that's gonna form a right triangle so that whenever we put them together, we'll have our perfect little box bridge that we're trying to make. So what, how you make this is that you take any type of right triangle, and then you're just gonna place it right on the top, nice and level with that plastic container that you have. Any small plastic container can you, you can use, um, an old Tupperware container or something like that. And then you mark it up, try to make sure that you make it even on both ends whenever you mark it, and then you just cut them out. So this is the final result that we have so that whenever our bars sit across, they'll solidify together and hold the form that they're taking the shape of. So, now for the final part and the best part. We're gonna take our chocolate bars, try to keep them elongated, and then we're gonna, we're gonna activate our weld, or we're gonna start the weld. All you need to do, take the sides of the chocolate bars, and then we're just gonna put them right here on the side of the wine bottle or any glass bottle that you have. And we're gonna go up and down on the edges. Try to make sure you get all your edges nice and good. You can kind of give it a little bevel if you want. Make sure you get all of it good and warm and melted. This is our well pool. and gooey and sticky. We're gonna come in here and we're just gonna plop them in right together. And now we have welded chocolate bars. So that's gonna sit there as it's gonna harden. We're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Whenever these edges are nice and done, we're gonna put them together and we're gonna complete the box bridge that we're gonna make. And then I'm gonna show you the difference is that you have whenever you have a box bridge versus just a flat bar of chocolate whenever you have some weight put on it. that they do unite and that they're coming together and there you go we have part of our bridge built already so what these are going to do is that these are going to harden we're going to let them solidify and then we're going to come back we're going to put them back together and then i'm going to show you the differences that these can make versus just a regular flat bridge that is going to be flimsy or it's not going to be as structurally sound so Harden real quick. Now that we've got our chocolate pieces molded together or welded together, we're going to take these two and then we're going to put them together and that's going to make our box bridge. So all you're going to do, take these out of here and then apply it back to your heat source. You can do one corner at a time if you can't do both. One side first. And then we're just going to start to activate our weld again 
and then we're gonna literally put these right on top of each other. So let's get this side going, this side. Sometimes it takes a few seconds just to get it nice and molten the way that it should be. edges aren't molten enough, you can always just keep applying it to your heat source.